Okay, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, as the case may be. It is March 24th, 2022. I am Scooter McGee. Now, you can find me on the World Wide Web at ScooterMcGee.com. Problems in the stories of the headlines now for 29 into 30 days as the Russian military maneuvers in Ukraine, subsequently turning into an invasion, now talks of war and possibly World War III, with more economic sanctions and more troops to the region, and humanitarian aid in the form of everything from nutrition to ammunition. So <clears throat> a lot has happened in these 29 days, and I'm going to try this as a beta test. This will be my introduction to everybody on Rumble. Hello, Rumble. Um, <clears throat> please be patient. I need to learn exponentially. To the face holes, otherwise known on Facebook, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening. No affiliation, no sponsorship. I just threw on the next shirt that was in the closet. Um, to everyone over on Twitter, again, all of this, you can find these links at ScooterMcGee.com. But uh, for everybody now, texting and emailing, please keep doing that. And if you wish to, please financially support this endeavor. I didn't realize 30 days in a row how much time-consuming putting together 30 minutes of news is. Here, however, is a skim, as well as I want to do a sound check and everything else, trying rumble and seeing the times. How long does it take to upload a video to YouTube and Facebook and, and Rumble? And then hopefully if I can get fans or friends on Rumble, I might be allowed to stream. So, <clears throat> with attempts to reopen the Russian stock market after being closed a month, there are now problems and concerns regarding economic trading around the world when it comes to government-issued bills, notes loans, etc. Vladimir Putin are uh, countering with these sanctions now by demanding that unfriendly nations to Russia, if they wish to purchase oil, they're going to have to now buy rubles, convert it to rubles to do that. Brilliant economic move, uh, bad in the strategy of uh, not having this escalate. Uh, Russia has now blocked Google News accusing Google News in the Soviet, former Soviet Union of, on Google News, um, <laughs> spreading fake news and propaganda. Okay. President Zelensky in the Ukraine in a couple of addresses in the overnight has uh, said that he's working on a visit between him and Pope Francis uh, with Pope Francis coming to Ukraine. We'll see if that comes to light. Um, flags now at the U.S. Capitol are at half-staff as uh, the first woman to be Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright, is dead at the age of 84. North Korea successfully test-fired an intercontinental ballistic missile, and that was towards Japan. Um, the United States has condemned that action. Uh, administration... Mm, the U.S. administration, I guess, um, they'll do everything to protect all U.S. American souls and interests in any uh, condemnation. Um, no deal for Venezuelan oil yet, as day 29, day 30 into the, well, took a week and a half for the sanctions and yada, yada, yada. No deal in Ukraine or in uh, Venezuela yet. The United States announced it, or Biden announcing it, the, uh, what you call it? Oh, that's right, the Emergency NATO Summit. Uh, the United States is prepared to uh, accept another 100,000 refugees into the United States. The United States officially now <clears throat> admitting publicly that they believe Russia is guilty of war crimes. Uh, this will now enter its second month. The reality is, is that 10 million are displaced Ukrainians. They're homeless, they don't have a home, they don't have a village, they don't have... Again, the Russians are rape-robbing and pillaging, so what's your argument here? We're at 10 million refugees 30 days into the conflict. And boy, the archives over at YouTube are going to go nuts when I said, well, if we have 500,000, we're going to have one to two, and if we have one to two, that's five, and we'll see 10 million refugees before Easter. It's 30 days in, this doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Um, 
talks now that this is an international humanitarian crisis. And President Zelensky in another uh, video out on social media and on uh, given to the media, excuse me, is now claiming that Russia has used phosphorus bombs. I direct your attention to the Israeli-Palestinian Gaza Strip nonsense and when Anderson Vanderbilt, otherwise known as Anderson Cooper, was, you know, doing the news and the backdrop or, you know, the when they're sitting on the deck of the hotel and miles away you see the bombing. That was phosphorus going on back then. Didn't, well, still violate. Didn't see anybody condemning it then. I could be wrong. Uh, the Ukrainian army, as well as the Ukrainian citizens, have pushed the Russian army back 15 miles uh, north of Kiev. Kiev. Um, but that's still that infamous 17 miles and 17 mile convoy and a 40 mile convoy that was still 17 miles north, east and northwest of Kiev. So those numbers don't seem to be changing. MSNBC News Molly Hunter wants to let the world know that seven to 15,000 troops are, uh, no, we have 9,800 dead and we have 15,000 wounded. So the reality is, is that the Russians are digging in. They're not going anywhere. Um, and at the NATO summit, I'm now just gonna call them the Dork Brigade. We got their pictures. We're, we're, we're making progress. No. Um, so we're 30 days now into the invasion. This was a beta test and a beta test only. So I wish you good night, Godspeed, God bless, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and that'll do it. And now where's the remote to turn it on? Okay, so good night, drive safe. We'll see if this works. Of course not. You have to turn it on and off.